Hello, everyone. Oh, that's okay. A little bit loud. I um, was fiddling with my settings a little bit on my mic. So I'm hoping that it's not too loud. Oof, it's hitting the red. Am I quiet or am I loud? I've been fiddling with it all day and I'm afraid that it might be peaking really bad. So let me know how how the sound is. Is it terrible? Is it awesome? Is it, why did she even do this? Is she a crazy lady? <laughs> Normal and a little loud? Okay, I'm gonna turn it down. Okay, testing, testing, one, two, three. I did that so many times today. I'm loud. Okay, well, loud is better than too quiet. Hang on, hang on. It's like stuff that I couldn't test until, uh, until I was live and like I'm doing my normal, my normal voice. So hopefully, hopefully that's, that's a bit better now. Okay. My goal was to eliminate, uh, eliminate the echo. So, uh, but I was afraid sometimes when you have to like, what you just did is better. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. My goal, I was working really hard today to eliminate the rest of the echo in the room. And so you have to mess with filters and settings and everything. But like I was following YouTube videos because I don't know a lot about audio, but I'm learning. I'm learning. You know, it's how you learn. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and scroll on up. Let's take a look here. Kenny. Hello, Kenny and Alex and Patricia and Tina. Ooh, snowflakes. Ooh, Tina, then you're going to like what I'm going to show you guys here in just a second. Um, Aspie, hello. Tanya, hello. Let's see. Let's see. Carol and Jennifer. Hello, hello. And look at Steve. Uh, let's see. Who won the Arteza giveaway? Uh, Lisa Hagen. Lisa Hagen did. But, 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 it's not official yet. I'm still in the talks. There may be another giveaway soon. So don't, uh, don't lose heart. There will be, hopefully... So I'm not going to say for sure because nothing's been confirmed yet, but there is the possibility of more in the future. So, uh, Crystal, hello. Let's see. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Make sure I'm not missing anyone. Hi, Joe. Hi, Sheena. Okay. All right. So I have something. I'm not going to show you all of it because I'll be doing, I'll be doing a video that, uh, see, I'm almost afraid to like raise my voice now, but I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm not in the red, so I think we're okay. Hi, Julie. Um, okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to put this aside cause I'm going to show you something, but I'm only going to show you like the front of it because there will be a subsequent video at some point from, uh, from what I hear, they're doing good, Tina. They're doing real good. Hi, Catherine. Um, but I'm showing it to you now because I'm pretty sure they came out today. They came out today and this thing I'm going to show you last year when they did it. Oh, sounds good. Hi, Melissa. There's Melissa. Melissa, Tina would like to know how you and the baby are doing. Um, when they sold these last year, they, hi, Ams. Hi, Angie. They sold out in a matter of days. Like by the time I realized they even had them, they were already gone. Hi, Tanya. So I'm going to show you something now, just the front of it. There will be a subsequent video plus many subsequent videos to follow about it. But if you are wanting, hi, Pam, to get your hands on it while they're in stock, here we go. Ta -da! It's an Arteza advent calendar. Hi, Shannon. It's an Arteza advent calendar. Like I said, I'm gonna do, like there's there's a list of what, everything that's in there on the back and I will do a more in-depth video uh, in the future. But this thing is huge and it's gorgeous. Hi, Ronnie. And it's gonna be so fun. My plan, my plan is, and this may be adventurous, this may be adventurous, but, right, Alex? In fact, while I have you all, you can type in, good morning, Nina. You can type in exclamation point advent and that'll get you a link for it. I also have a coupon code if you want 10% off, but I missed out on it last year because they sold out and I had the opportunity this year and I was like, heck yeah, man, I am so excited. So what I want to do, and I, like I said, it may be too lofty, but I want to do like a video for each day, whether it's, you know, like little <laughs> whether it's you know like little things or whatever i i've anyway 
I'll tell you more about it later, but I wanted to give you a sneak peek and I also wanted to give you the opportunity to let you know it's there if you want to get one. There's two different sizes. This one is the 24 and then there is a smaller size that's only 12 that isn't as expensive as the 24. Um, so if this one's a little bit out of your out of your budget, um, there's another one listed there. So the link, the link there will take you to this one and then from there you can find the uh, smaller set one. So if you want to do one for like the last 12 days of December, but yeah, I, they just started doing these last year and it just sold it like that. And I did some research. There are not many like other like solid art advent calendars, which I feel like, I feel like somebody's missing out there. I feel like this is a, yeah, like YouTubers do Vlogmas. Exactly. Yeah. A video a day. We need this. Well, I'm also like, we'll see. I'm not promising a video a day too, because that is a lot for every day of December and everything else that's going on. Hi, Beth. So, so we'll see. We'll see. I really want to. I really, really want to. Maybe if I can get them like filmed ahead of time, because you know, there's editing and whatnot, but I think, I think it'll be really, uh, exclamation point, what? <laughs> really fun. There are Lego advent calendars. You are correct, but and I'll, I'll, I'll do a video to show you the back and I'll show you the inside because it's gorgeous and there's a list of everything that's in it. And let me just tell you, like, it's it's worth it. There's a wide variety of a ton of different stuff. You, I mean, you guys know how much Arteza stuff we do. Oh, a Stabilo advent calendar. Ooh, that's cool. You guys know how much Arteza stuff I'm familiar with. Let me put it this way. There are items in this advent calendar that even I haven't tried yet. So I'm... I'm really excited. And it's not like anything overwhelming. There's like little things, but stay tuned for the video. I'm not sure when it's gonna come out. I gotta I gotta clear some stuff first and, and make sure I'm doing things in in the right order. But um yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. I was really excited to get that today. Um, so yeah, link there plus a coupon code. And honestly, that coupon code, uh, you can use anywhere on the Arteza store. It's not just for the advent calendar. So, uh, it's good for 10% off Emily Illustrator 10, and it is good until October 28th, October 28th. Mm, excuse me. Let's drink some tea here. Okay. So, okay. I'm not nearly as allowed. From your end, ooh, a punch box, that should be fun. From your end, just out of curiosity, is the echo, does the echo seem less today than it usually is? That was my goal. I'm not kidding, I spent like an hour and a half on my sound settings today, it was ridiculous. Oh, pneumonia, oh yeah, I hope you feel better soon. But I feel like, oh, uh, uh, let's talk tomorrow. Let's talk. I did the blender video. So tomorrow's let's talk is going to be comparing. Yes, it's awesome. Okay. Awesome, Rinka. Thank you. I've been like, I listened to it back and I'm just like, oh, I want to fix those things, but I just wasn't sure how. So I found a new video today and it was just much more in depth and I think what I needed. So you're not getting echo. Yay. Oh, it was like room echo, you know, not, not like I'm, I'm copying myself, but here, I'll give you, I'll give you a sneak peek. Look. Okay. That's tomorrow's. That's tomorrow's video. That's gonna go up at eight. It's already uploaded, so no more, no more internet, internet stuff. Yeah, Beth, I hope you feel better soon. That's no fun. Well, just relax and hang out and yeah, lots of rest and color too. That works. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think. Oh, oh, oh! I got the schedule. I got the schedule posted uh, as a command now. So I have the schedule in the community tab. Um, in the community tab for the Potterathon, uh, but now we have a command for it. So type in exclamation point Potter for the command for the Potterathon. We now have 23 streamers involved with the Potterathon. Uh, the lovely uh, Passionista Colorista has joined us as well. So I mean, this is going to be a packed, 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 packed schedule. And uh, I have all of my, um, all but one, because I need to finish editing it. Um, I have all but one of my streams for the Potterathon scheduled. So you can always set your reminders for that. But if you go, um, after you type in uh, exclamation point Potter, um, go to that schedule, all of the streamers are linked. All their YouTubes are linked to their names. You can click through. Make sure you're following anybody if you're not following. We have some new uh, some new names that aren't usually in the colorathons uh, for this one. So there's gonna be, oh my gosh, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, of course, Joanna. Yeah, uh, do you still have, oh, the Juice Medic, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to our coloring family. Joanna, do you still have the images or do you need me to resend them to you? 
It rings a bit. Could be slightly peaking. I know it was earlier, but I'll have to uh, I'll have to listen back. And hi Ev, I will listen back to the stream afterwards and see see what I can hear because that helps me to kind of fine tune it a little bit. So yeah, exclamation point Potter for the schedule. Um, that's not this weekend, but next weekend. It's like no, it's a week away. It's a week away because we start on Friday next week. So seven days, people. Seven days. So get your stuff. We've got cakes and Legos and books and crocheting and 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 litho lithopane lithophane. It's 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 something cool. Renee's doing it, and it's all Potter themed, so it's gonna be cool. Hi, Della. Okay, I think that's all the announcements. Oh, it's a lot more full in here. Okay, so just oh, awesome, Pam. Okay, now that we've had a few more people coming in, just one real quick reminder, I showed everybody at the beginning, <gasps> Arteza has an art advent calendar! Exclamation point advent to check it out and uh, and uh, use coupon code. How's it sound? Is it, is it just when I get real loud? Time for emojis. Underscore Emily Paul colon underscore Emily hype colon underscore Emily snap colon underscore Emily Paul colon underscore Emily heart colon underscore Emily Steve. But yeah. So coupon code there. I'm only telling you about this now because I haven't done any of the videos and I know it's October and I know it's early. I'm not trying to be one of those people, but the reason I'm telling you now is because it came, oh, hi Steve. Burr, 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 burr. Oh my gosh. I thought you were just saying burr, burr, burr. I wasn't even looking at it. Ev, Ev, <laughs> exclamation point hype for Ev. Thank burr, burr, burr. you. I was, I was looking at Steve and talking and I didn't look at chat and oh my goodness, Ev, thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh, and Nina! Nina, welcome to our colors package! Oh, thank you! Hypes for Nina, too! Uh, now, as a member, there you go, exclamation point hype, you have access to all of these handy dandy emotes. There we go. And whenever there's new merch in the Etsy store, uh, members get uh, coupon codes for that. Thank you, thank you, Ev. Ev, I'm sorry, I missed that initially. I'm sorry, I wasn't looking at chat. Oh, time for emojis. Oh, did it do it? See, I wasn't even, oh, I'm so scattered. I'm so scattered. Thank you, Ev, and I just hit a thing. And thank you, Nina, I'm a mess. I'm a mess, chat. Um, but yeah, I'm only doing it now because the advent calendars uh, sell out at least last year they did. Last year they sold out so fast. So anyway, if it was something you were interested in, there's a 24 set and a 12 set, and then you got that coupon code. Okay, enough jibber jabber. What do you say we color? Photo of baby smiling. See, aww. Oh, I'll have to go look. Oh, the pumpkin patch. That'll be so cute. Okay, so I finished off the hat last time, and let's see. Can we even hear the music? I feel like the music isn't even. Oh, there we go. That's what it was. I couldn't hear the desktop. That's why I didn't see it. Okay, perfect. Um, anyway, so we did the hat. We've got her skin. We've got her hair. I want to start on the frog. Now, I don't... There's not much left. I think we might be able to... The new link's posted here. It tells me I'm not invited. Oh, I don't know. Did you try the link in the description below, Tina? That's weird because that link it's in and of itself is an invite. Um, so I think we could maybe get this done today, but either way, I've set aside Monday for us to do it just in case. Wednesday, we're gonna be coloring a little bit in the coloring lamp. Um, I'm gonna finish that off because I'm almost done with it. Not the ocean one, but I'm working on the larger bird one. Um, and then, yeah, and then Friday, we've got the, uh, oh, August the baby. <laughs> Why am I using this one on it? I should be using this sharpener. Here we go. Much better. Shaking everything. Oh my goodness. Okay, so for the, sorry, I said frog. It's a toad. It's a toad. Um, we have foliage number 17. And let's grab grass green number 18. And let's grab say message and starting to get a complex. Oh, weird. I'm not sure. Wait, how is Shannon holding up? Wait, wait, wait. What did I miss? What's going on with Shannon? 
Oh, hearts. I'm sorry I didn't mention that initially, Ev. I, I didn't I did not mean to uh to miss that. I was literally looking at Steve and not at chat, and then my sound wasn't on for some reason. Autocorrect took a turn for a second. Wait, what I missed. Oh, sounds good, Nina. I'm clearly missing something, Shannon. <laughs> Okay, let's also get a brown. Let's do, which one was this? This was raisin. Raisin, raisin, raisin. Oh, Brian's Xbox is broke. Xbox is broken. Oh, no. Hi, Mary. Shannon, you didn't throw it out the door, did you? <laughs> Goes the way of the, what was it, vacuum? <laughs> oh, you fixed it. Look at you being so handy. Handy Shannon. Boom, 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 boom. I just realized that was something I did with Steve and that's not going to make sense to anybody else unless they've watched Handy Mandy. Not Handy Mandy. Handy Manny. Handy Manny. Oh my gosh. I am so just today. Call in the Marines. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with foliage. Get our basic greens down. But I'm excited for you guys to see the... Um, Let's talk tomorrow. There was one that kind of came out on top that I was actually pretty surprised about. So uh, you'll have to take a look at that. Looking at the bunch, it wasn't one I would have picked out. Nothing. You saw nothing. Nothing. <laughs> oh, goodness. We're just going to... We're just gonna glide right past that. Ah, the Santa emote. There we go. Shh, shh, no you didn't, Della. Shh, no, no one saw it. To be fair, I was pressing harder because it had blender over the top of it and it was just sliding across. I mean, I wasn't pressing harder because it didn't. Okay, now that, that's just, that's not me. That wasn't me. That did it on its own. I, I mean, that wasn't me. All right, maybe I should use the shorter sharpener. <laughs> Snap, crackle, pop, right? Okay, hang on, I need to empty this sharpener. It wasn't me. It was not me. It was the one I demand. Name that movie. That's a 90s throwback right there. Well, actually, he probably got it from something else, but there's a movie I'm thinking of. No! Snap emotes. Ah! <laughs> exactly, it wasn't me, but the frog did it. <laughs> the snap button. Colon underscore Emily snap, colon underscore oh, no. Emily snap, colon underscore Emily snap. <laughs> it's saying Emily snap. No, it's pencil snap. I gotta change it to pencil snap, or like the name of it needs to be definitely wasn't me snap. <laughs> Can we get some hypes in chat for Evelyn? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I gotta change the name of that emote to definitely wasn't me snap. Yep, that's that's what it's gotta be. All right, I sharpened it with a shorter, a shorter point this time. So this should work. Yes, the mask. Okay, awesome. <laughs> it was not me. Funny thing is, is I haven't seen that since I've been an adult. I feel like I need to watch that again and see if it's as funny as I actually remember. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're just using some green on our little froggy frog here. We have some other green. We're gonna use some browns. Sure it's not too dark when I put my hand over it. There we go, that's better. Yeah, cause I was just like, you know, I have a decent enough mic. There's no reason, there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to figure out this echo deal. So yeah, I spent some good time this afternoon after I got a bunch of other stuff done, but I was just like, hmm, I wonder. Oh, coffee, coffee break. break. <laughs> Thank you, Joanna. Can we 
me get some hypes in chat for Joanna. Exclamation point hype, or you can use those handy dandy hype emotes. Thank you, Joanna. I appreciate you. Oh yeah, Julie, I'm so sorry. They only shipped the US and the UK. That was the only downside with doing that giveaway was that uh, it didn't ship to, uh, to Australia specifically, because I know I have a lot of Aussies that were, that were wondering about it, but yeah, it limited it to uh, US and UK. And I was just like, oh, hopefully, hopefully they'll expand eventually to doing that. That would be really nice. But either way, even if you can't get it, even if you can't get it, we're gonna be doing some crafts and stuff, um, you know, like little activities with the um, items that are in it. So at the very least, maybe you'll get some inspiration for other, other crafts and whatnot. Wait, Julie, it's, it is for the UK also. So I'm not sure uh, where, you're, where you're located. Although considering the time of day, I'm guessing it's not the UK. But yeah, UK and US is only where Arteza ships, unfortunately. Yeah, right, Pam? I want all-inclusive. <laughs> but I know that there's, uh, let's see, we're using grass green. There's complications with import fees and everything else, which I'm sure is the story for a lot of places. It's nice, though, that Book Depository does worldwide. I was looking at that because um, I want to... During the Potterathon, I want to do for one of my streams, or maybe like the last one, the one that wraps it up or something, depending, we'll see. Uh, I want to do a giveaway for like the, the coloring wizardry and do it on a uh, book depository because then that one's open anywhere. Oh, not Canada. Ah, oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. So I thought that'd be cool. I'm also working on a coloring page that, um, that I want to have everybody be able to give away during the streams because coloring pages are definitely worldwide. So I'm working, uh, I'm working on one. I don't know, I'm on the fence about it, you know, but um, as far as how I feel about the page, but I'm in the middle of coloring it right now and I think I'll feel better about the page once it's, uh, once it's all colored. I'm also working on a page for um, Shell's Halloween, uh, Halloween event. How is that pronounced? A Leo? Is it a Leo or a Leos? Anyway, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to our coloring family. Yeah, books uh, books depository ships to Canada for sure. Well, books depository. Did I say book suppository? Book depository. Exclamation point words because they are really hard. Book depository god book suppository that's just that just sounds terrible that just sounds awful <laughs> they ship worldwide and it's free shipping worldwide so that's nice i'd be curious to see how they did that oh, <laughs> oh no i did <laughs> oh lord <laughs> I can't even blame that on autocorrect. Can I autocorrect my mouth? Is that a thing? <laughs> right? That's a... Yes, I just want to call it. <laughs> no! <laughs> God, can you imagine? That gets on the quote and somebody says, Does your bag say suppository? Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> oh, God, Joe. I did not mean... Oh, my word. Oh, well, that one's going to last forever. <laughs> All right, Golden Sun. We're using Golden Sun now. Hey, look at that. Isn't that a nice, a nice golden-y, sunny color? Oh, my gosh. Discord code time. Oh, my gosh. No, I didn't mean to. Because I think I said it previously, and then I caught it again. I'm sitting here painting. Emily just asked the same question simultaneously. Did she say, I say it's suppository? Yep. Yep, my head replayed it and was like, uh, pretty sure, pretty sure that was, that was a mistake. That was my bad. <laughs> oh gosh, dude. <laughs> Whoo, okay, well. Anyway. <laughs> Whoo, all right, let's add some brown here. No, no, wait, we don't add brown. Oh no. No brown. No, I'm kidding. Oh my gosh. 
It's gonna it's gonna be a while till I live that one down. Um, let's uh, let's do foliage. <laughs> Sounds good, Alex. Coming to a quote server near you. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, foliage. Look at this nice leaf green color. It's a leafy, leafy green. Such a pretty color. Such a, such a pretty color. <laughs> Whoa! Anyway, how about that, uh, that Potterathon, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. I was, uh, I was listening to, so I'm still on book five on Audible. I listen to it like when I go to pick up the kids and stuff. And uh, I'm at the part in the book where the Weasleys set off. <laughs> Catherine. Hi, Marilyn. It was brown. It was brown. <laughs> book depository. Depository. Oh, my gosh. Uh, but I, I, I was listening to this scene where the Weasley twins set off their fireworks and stuff. And I know that they did use that in the movie, but I have to say the books version of them setting off the fireworks was so much funnier. I wish they could have somehow translated that into the movie, but yeah, that was funny. No! <laughs> I didn't mean to. Oh, awesome, Marilyn. Uh, let's see. Green grass number 18. Oh my gosh. Oh, I did that a little bit a little bit hard. All right, it's okay. We'll work with it. I'm all off flustered. Right? Well, and I think it's hilarious that like Umbridge is running around like panicking and everything and she's like telling Filch not to uh, not to like cast certain spells on him and Filch is like, uh, okay, never mind that Filch is a squib. <laughs> Wait, when did I see it before? And if Barnes and Noble takes prescriptions, <laughs> doctors ordered uh, doctors order books. It's just been so long since I've read them. I mean, I read them through like once when I was in school, but like aside from that, I hadn't really read through them much. But I'm enjoying it, I'm enjoying it. And the nice thing is, is even if I'm only able to listen to like 20 minutes, it's trying to add to the conversation. <laughs> Uh, even if I only have 20 minutes, I don't feel totally lost when I come back to it because I know what the basic storyline is so I can kind of pinpoint it. But it's just interesting, like things that they, that they left out or things that they didn't do or whatever else. And it's just like, it's more insight to the movies than I'd had before. Yeah, the Audible's really good. Well, yeah, it's like, like I said, I read them when I was in high school, but I didn't have the attention span to read them through. And then the movies, movies started coming out and, you know, it's... 18 or whatever and I didn't have the time or patience to sit down and read and I did not have a phone that could play audible I don't know when when did audible become a thing? I mean, I'm sure they always had you know Just like Netflix had like DVDs that you could that you could rent when did uh gosh, we're really close I'm gonna zoom out just a tiny bit Um, when did audible become a thing? It had to have been when like smartphones started coming out like I remember a friend of ours when they had the first smart or like he had one of the uh, of the friends we knew, he had one of the first smartphones, and that was, that was back in maybe 2008, 2007? Does it really? It, wait, have I accidentally said that before, and this is just the first time that I noticed it? Because that might even be more embarrassing. Yeah, Audible is, is Amazon, and hello, Kelly. Yeah, Audible is Amazon. I mean, they've always had books on tape. There's a reason that it's called books on tape. But as far as like a book, an audiobook streaming service. Does it really, Mary? Oh my gosh, you guys, have I been like saying that a bunch all the time? And this is just the first time I've noticed it? Oh no. What kind of, okay, let's look at the quotes. Oh no! <laughs> oh gosh. Shell says it too. Okay, well at least I'm not alone in that. Oh my word. Just know that was never my intention? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and 
Sushi. <laughs> oh, it's a hard word, okay? Who decided to name their store that anyway? Can't they just call it the book place? <laughs> just, you know, the place for listening to the books. No, wait, no, that's Audible. The place for buying the books that ships everywhere. That's that's what it needs to be. This is a reoccurring issue. Oh, well, at least I'm not alone. Okay, foliage number 12. Well, I don't know if we finish this tonight. I'll have to figure out something for us to do on Monday because I won't want to start a full page. Ooh, if we finish this tonight, you know what I'll do on Monday? I have a serene work in progress that I've been wanting to get back to for a while, but I have not had the time. So if we finish this tonight, we'll, we'll work on that. <laughs> Catherine. Oh gosh. What do I say? Well, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I need to just do highlights on his little froggy bumps here. Sorry, toady bumps. Toady bumps. He's not a frog. I keep calling him a frog. It's going to be like frog experts that are going to get mad at me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Raisin number 20. If I remember correctly, this one's pretty red, but I'm going to try and get some of this in here too. Always, Mary. Always. <laughs> Ooh, nice, Alex. Well, I picked up the kids from school today and little Emily, first thing she said when she got into the car was that she wanted burritos for dinner. Apparently somebody was talking about tacos at school and she went, hmm, tacos are good. And then she went, hmm, burritos are better. And she wanted burritos. So we had burritos. Well, I, know, I guess it was kind of a taco because I used the corn tortillas. I don't know. If you're using corn tortillas, is it always considered a taco? Or would you consider it still a burrito? I mean, I know there's corn tortilla enchiladas, but do you still consider something wrapped up in a corn tortilla a burrito? Or is it a taco? Awesome, Barbara. Well, what it is that I'm working on is that, uh, I call it the Weeping Angel page, but it's that stone angel. I've already done one page in there. Uh, and I'm using the Lumis on it. I just feel like Serene is such a top-notch book. Like it needs quality pencils in it. So I've done one with the Arteza Everblends. And then this one I'm working on the, um, uh, with the Karen Dash. Corn is not a burrito. Okay. <laughs> Tina. <laughs> They're going to be mad. They're going to take away their free shipping and be like, I'm sorry. I won't call you that anymore. All right, grass green now. We might break out a little bit of white too. Yeah, I think we'll break out a little bit of white. Okay, well, because I can't eat flour tortillas. So when we have burritos, I just use corn tortillas. So if it's wrapped and not folded in half, and it has meat and beans and cheese in it, is it a burrito? Because the only difference is the thing that's wrapping it up. Yeah, there you go, Nina. Taco is like a foldy thing with meat and cheese and salsa and stuff. Okay. These are the questions. Like, is a hot dog, is a hot dog a taco? Or is a hot dog a sandwich? Or is a hot dog in a category all of its own? These are the uh, these are the pressing questions that need to be <laughs> answered. Let's see, what color do I want to do? I'm thinking a little bit of gold. Gold might look kind of nice, kind of shiny. An enchilada is a wrap in corn. I think the wrap matters. It's the construction and the ingredients. Interesting. Ah, okay, that works, Mary. <laughs> Shannon, I was I was popping into uh, Tanya's stream just briefly because uh, we were doing dinner and stuff. It's hard for me to to chat in those ones. But was it was it Tanya was saying she's gonna try one of uh, one of Shannon's food combos? If so, you should live stream it. <laughs> oh 
gosh, Allie, I never thought of that. Hubby says hot dog is a sandwich. Hmm. Well, I guess in, if you were using the defense of because it's connected, then that would mean is a hoagie a taco? I don't know. I feel like we need like Webster's dictionaries, like definitions of what, okay. He looks like he has a black eye now. That was, that was a mistake. I should not have used brown. I'm sorry someone punched you, Mr. Toad. Apparently Frog and Toad aren't friends anymore. Toad gets a black eye. That's a, that's an interesting children's story. Frog and Toad, Toad gets a black eye. <laughs> a hoagie is not a taco. <laughs> That's fair. They are in an American category. All right. Foliage 17 instead. I'm sorry, Mr. Toad. I didn't mean to punch you out. Hoagie is a sandwich. Okay. All right. All right. Now I know what to do to, to wind everyone up. Well, he likes to start the rumor, right? No, no, we do not get it from, from that place. We'll fight over that. Okay. Good to know. So you're saying, I'm just using black now. What you're saying is that, actually real quick, what is, what is the color around the pupil for toads? Is it usually pretty dark? I wanna say it's usually pretty dark. So what you're saying is if I go to Philly, get off the plane, I go to city center downtown, and I just yell at the top of my lungs, a hoagie is a taco, I'll get jumped. <laughs> I want to say it's dark, right? A hoagie is a sub. See, now I'm just, I'm just winding Joe up. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go with like, taco has a Mexican theme. Everything with a bread wrap is a sandwich. You will be hurt, yes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Does that seem right? Okay, someone look up a picture of a toad for me real quick. Should he have dark eyes? I mean, we'll, we'll add a highlight. We'll add a highlight. Yeah, I guess that looks okay. <laughs> they will escort you back to the airport, right? I don't know. Are toad's eyes dark? I'm thinking way too much about this toad. Like, way too much. I won't put the highlight on, though, until anybody confirms for me <laughs> that he has dark eyes. Okay, let's see. Let's get, what is a hoagie? Never heard of it. It's, it's a, uh, it has to do with the kind of bread that's in it and the kind of meat. Tell <laughs> me your tombstone that you called a hoagie a taco. She colored, she lived, she called a hoagie a taco. <laughs> nice, Kelly. All right, uh, let's use a little bit of gold, gold sleechy here. Yeah, I think I like that, maybe? A little brighter gold? Hmm. I'm so indecisive about Mr. Toad here. No, we gotta do brighter gold. Could outline the iris in white. Okay, so let's do, let's do this one. Joe, what's your favorite kind of hoagie? Okay, yeah, I like the sparkle on this. On those little bumps, those little toady bumps. He's all like sparkle toady. I like that. Here, let's see if I can turn. Look, he's sparkle toady. Black in the middle, gold above and below. Oh, okay. <laughs> Toad is mad because you called a hoagie a taco, right? Okay, and let's careful not to get our hand in it. All these little dots are gonna get little go. He's a he's a shiny toad. <laughs> Like when I think hoagie, I don't know why, but I immediately go to like, like I know hoagie is the type of roll, but I immediately like imagine some sort of like McRib style thing. 
Although I follow this guy who makes food on Instagram. He just came out with a cookbook and he made a like a really good, like intense Philly cheesesteak. And I was like, oh, that looks good. Like he actually went to Philly, like tried all of the top notch cheesesteak. Long chewy roll with salami, mortadella, provolone, hot pepper, onions, lettuce, tomato, and I know that word. Capicola? Is that how you pronounce it? And wait, what's mortadella? Oh, cool. Picture the toad. Let's take a look. Oh, he's cute. Oh, I needed to put a lot more brown on him. Maybe we should put some black on him. Oh, but he's cute. Look at the little toad. Okay, he's adorable. It's okay. He doesn't need the black. He's a sparkle toad. He fancy. There we go. He fancy toad. McRib, that's an insult. Well, no, I meant like, okay, not McRib. I don't think I've ever actually eaten a McRib. I think McRib was in my head because I heard it on the radio station the other day and apparently it's a big deal when McRibs come back. I, I don't know. What is it about McRibs that's so appealing? I can't do hoagies anymore. They're not gluten free. <laughs> Mortadella is like a giant bologna thing with pistachios and little bits of fat in it. Mmm. Sounds... No, you know what? I'm, I've, already, I've already knocked the hoagie by calling it McRib. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to touch the mortadella. It sounds delicious. McRib nasty. Okay, good to know. And say so. <laughs> All I heard was delicious. How would you describe if somebody asked you what is a hoagie? You know what a hoagie is? Yes. What would you, it's it's a type of like toady. Hey, we got a toad. Toady hoagie. Apparently, a hoagie is a sandwich. Alright, ready? Get some sleep. I bet you, Daddy could tell you what a hoagie is. Uh, do you want to sleep in your hairstyle? It'll be all curly in the morning. As long as it's I'm not uncomfortable. If it's uncomfortable, let me know. Let's see. I don't know. I don't get the McRib thing. I don't think any of it tastes like it when, when I was a kid. You know, I think when we're kids, it's everything. Like, it's all magical. McRib is good, especially when you add mayonnaise. It's a guilty pleasure. Okay, I could understand that. I could understand that. I was talking to her about her hair because... Uh, let's see, do I want to do... Uh, I braided her hair today after school. Can you call a toad sandwich a hoagie? <laughs> Wait, what's a toad sandwich? Is that where I want that? No, let's be careful not to smooch that. Let's just do a normal highlight for him. Well, that just looks wrong. Mr. Toady, I'm sorry. I'm struggling with your eyes tonight. I gave you a black eye and everything. Your, your eye is a hot mess, dude. Maybe. Okay, well, it looks better than the little, than the little dot did. Hmm. Oh God, nope. I can see what you guys are seeing and that's just terrible. That's just terrible. No way, Mr. Toad. Put a patch over his eye. He's Pirate Toad now. Arg. <laughs> All right, let's fix that there. All right, let's get a smaller gel pen. That was like a six. No, I guess that's pretty small. Okay. Oh, I love Scrabble. Oh wait, Scrapple Rocks fried in butter with maple syrup. Interesting. What is this language you speak? I do love Scrabble though. Uh, Steve and I, uh, somebody got us as a wedding gift. Um, yeah, we're just gonna do this. That makes, I'm okay with that. 
Um, Steve and I got the Scrabble. It was like the, the diamond anniversary edition, the one that the plastic one that folds up and then it has all the individual slots for the letters. Uh, let's give him a little purple, purple and black striped hat. I can't play Scrabble with Steve though, because he's just too good at it. Okay, so violet number 11. I play with my mom when she comes to visit though. I mean, it's been a while because pandemic and everything, but. If it makes you feel anybody ask anybody any better, Aspie, uh, I'm I'm a little I'm a little lost too. Oh, nice, Tina. Words are hard. Hey, Violet, you're turning Violet, Violet. Okay, uh, lilac. There we go. Okay, then let's do black. Here we go. <laughs> I always have to double check it and like, I don't know, I I'm always like questioning Steve and like, he could tell me anything is true and I would probably believe him. And so like, he'll be like, oh yeah, it means this. And he'll say it with a total straight face and then I'll be too afraid to challenge it. <laughs> Scrapple is pork scraps and cornmeal fried. Interesting. So how is it served? Like as a main dish or is it like in something? Okay, there's his little hat, and then we need to do his little little strings here. There we go. And let's see, I know we have a gray in here. And for those of you wondering, um, I think I think most of you know now, but we are using the Derwent Chroma Flows and it's only a 24 count set. So that is our, that is our limited challenge here is to do this with only 24 pencils. Oh, it's breakfast meat. You eat it with eggs or pancakes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess pork scraps. Think sausage-ish. More of a bacon fan myself. But then also my brother and uh, his family, they just got a pet pig and it's the frigging cutest thing on the planet. And then after I talked to him one day, I happened to be making bacon. And then I went, oh, little pig. <laughs> it's super cute though, because I'll be on the phone with him and I'll hear like, they, they allow the pig in the house cause it's like a teacup pig. It's a little, little tiny baby pig, won't get much bigger. And uh, so I hear these little, little, Little snorts in the background, it's adorable. Oh, ooh, Tanya, Tanya, if you can't get a pig, or if you can't get a cat, you could get a pig. It's super cute and they're really smart and you can like train them and, and everything. Oh, pigs are so cute. Honestly, if I was allowed to, I would probably, cause you know, you can't have them in city limits, but I would uh, totally try and talk Steve into a pig. Uh, that was sun yellow. Let's use a little bit of white here. Pigs are amazing. No, you keep them as a pet forever. You just want a kitten. <laughs> Okay, so it's really funny and totally random. I saw this, you know, as we all do, I saw this random internet video and it was in Florida. And of course I thought of, well, I mean, it's just, it was in Florida because this is, this is normal. Apparently it's, it's normal to have alligators in your, uh, alligators or crocodiles. I don't know which ones hang out in Florida, both of them. Um, but the point is, 
it's normal for them. You just find them like in your backyard. And it showed a video of this guy, this alligator's in his yard. Like it's at his front door, like in front of his garage. And so he takes his empty, his empty uh, trash can and he flips it over on the side and he's on the other side of it. And he's like pushing it towards the alligator. And then he flips over the lid and the alligator's freaking out and thrashing. Somehow he gets it in the trash can and the guy lifts it, holds the lids down, take it to the pond and he like dumps it. And then he just books it. And this alligator's like, what the heck is going on? Right, Ams? Wasn't that hilarious? Like, you know, there's animal videos all over the place, but that one literally had me rolling. I was just like, that guy just booked it. And then like a few minutes later, he's like, no, wait, I want my trash can back. <laughs> and he's wearing like sandals and stuff. It was hilarious. Right, Della? Isn't that so funny? It was just so, I mean, it wouldn't have been funny if it was me. I would have been freaking out because, you know, there's an alligator on my front porch. What color do I want to make these candles? Yeah, and shorts and flip-flops, and then he just <laughs> books it. That's your trash can now. I'll buy a new one, right? We're like, all right, the alligator can have the trash can. Yes, a mini pig. They're so cute. Okay, so I want to try for like kind of a, a, like a light brown, like kind of a, just like a natural, a natural candle color. So I think we're going to try and use a golden sun and salmon. We're going to get a little creative. I call it soda. I call it soda. I think I called it pop when I was younger, but these days I call it soda. All right, so we're gonna use, like I said, Golden Sun. This part's gonna be a little glowy anyway, so that's okay. Okay, and this here. So we're getting creative with our color blends here, trying to get what we want. Mm, let's see, let's put a little here. I don't know, is it normal in Florida to just have alligators show up on your on your front porch? I thought that was so funny though. I mean, we got like armadillas here. <laughs> that and the neighbor's dog keeps showing up in our backyard, but that's not that's not natural wildlife. Although it might as well be, it's a yappy little thing. Is it really? Oh my gosh. Wait, in LA? Wait, 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 wait. Oh no, Louisiana. I'm like, wait, what? What are they doing in California? <laughs> I'm telling you, my brain is functioning so slowly today. You did abbreviations for the other states and I'm like, oh, state, state, clearly a, you know, a large city in California. It took me a second, Anne. <laughs> Clearly, that's, you know, what we were going for there. I am just, I am quick tonight, man. I am, I am quick. All right, so now we're using salmon, which I don't get why this is salmon. I mean, this is a very light pink, a very light pink. All right, I think this is working. When you have less pencils, you got to get creative with your color combos. Jeannie, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to our coloring family. I don't know why it didn't tell me seven, seven, seven minutes ago when you did. <laughs> but welcome. There we go. All right, now let's grab environment health. I used to get called to chase alligators off airfields. What? So wait, what did you do to chase them off? Did you just take like a little golf cart and chase them? Or were you out there like waving flags? I don't know, what do you, what do, you do when you go to like chase alligators? <laughs> Sonyella, I just, I sound so uninformed tonight. Like it's not even funny. I don't, I don't get bookstore names correctly and, and, and think LA is LA and not Louisiana. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna use white now. I just wanna blend these two colors. 
It's been a long week, all right? My brain is just functioning on minimal power. A little of everything, that is... I, I want to say that's hilarious, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say that probably wasn't as hilarious for you because you're chasing alligators. Did they at least give you, you know, like, protective, protective wear? You know, like, alligator protection? Is that a thing? They take trash cans to capture them. <laughs> no, Tina! <laughs> Okay, so we've got a flame here. We've got a flame. We're gonna have it be a little bit... Let's see. Where is the blue part on the flame? Is that usually right on the wick? Hang on. I wanna look up a lit candle here. Lit candle, I heart Google. Caldol, I can't spell. I can't speak and I can't spell. Okay, blue is at the wick base, okay. I feel better now. When I was five, I told mom and dad I wanted a cow. When I asked where I would keep it, I seriously told them under my bed. Yes, it's a story I told to boyfriends. I love it. So I have a plastic cow under my bed and I've had it since I was 17. I love that. I love that. Okay. Let's use... Ooh, we haven't used this color yet. Blue. Go figure. It's called blue. A little sharpy sharp. Let's shift this down a little bit so you guys can see. Okay, so a little bit of blue on the wick, okay. Okay. Well, if I learned anything from Happy Gilmore, Catherine, I learned that. <laughs> Gotta love Adam Sandler, Adam Sandler for accuracy. Um, okay, let's use... Let's use this sharpener. Let's, let's switch up sharpeners a little bit. With the camp stove at the end of the cornfield, picking corn and shucking it, walking past the bar. Oh, that sounds good, Ev. All right, so this is flat. <laughs> Look what its name is. Its name? It's flame. I mean, could I have chosen a more perfect pencil? I mean, that's just perfect. All right, let's use a little bit of orange there. There we go. All right, let's grab, let's grab our golden sun. Ooh! Picture of a pig. I'm looking. Oh, look at the pig. They were only six months old there. Oh, they're gonna be big pigs. <laughs> All right, golden sun. You know, I want to get. Uh, I want to get your opinions. So, for future giveaways. If I were to do more Arteza giveaways, what are some products? I mean, cause we just did one for the Everblends. What are some products that you all would be interested in that you're curious about trying? But uh, yeah, that you're interested in. Let's add, I wanna erase a little bit of this brown. And I wanna make that kind of yellowish. I mean, if you had the option, if you could kind of Give your two cents worth of what you would enjoy. The 120 pencils? I was thinking about that. During a blizzard. <laughs> oh yeah. The brush markers? Oh, okay. An eight at least. Oh good lord. Remind me not to go there. Um, okay, let's get a little bit of black. On the wick here. Okay. I'm an equal opportunity to craft her. I will take it all. There you go. Oh, iridescent paint and mica powers. Oh, okay. Brush markers again. Oh, like the uh, the ink conics, Ams. Okay. 
Okay. So here's what we're gonna do for these. Ooh, you know, we need to do this this band on her hat first. What do we wanna do? We want the purple? No, we could do black. Aw, you're welcome, Kelly. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, let's make sure we get some yellow on this hat band here. Cause that's like right by the candle. Okay, there we go. And then let's do this in black. Or even their gel pens, okay. Let's see, black. Give this a quick sharpen. Yeah, because I know I debated about the pencils, but I know a lot of people have those, but I also know there's a lot of people that don't have them yet. So that's what I was thinking, but I didn't even consider the brush pens. But that's good. Insight for sure. Ooh, the so oh, the soft pastels would be good. Those are good. A lot of colorists use those. I enjoy them. They're really nice. See, this is good. These are good suggestions. This is what I needed. Okay. Let's see. And then this side. Artistro or artist, are you saying artistro or artistico? I know artistro is, I actually just recently heard about them. Oh, wow, Tina. Oh, thanks, Kenny. We're getting there. I'm kind of hoping that we'll finish it tonight, but we'll see. I mean, we still have an hour. I have a set of watercolor brush pens and I have no clue how to use them. Are they the ones that you fill? Oh, no, 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 the watercolor brush pens. Yes, I know what you're talking about. Oh, that sounds fun, Ev. Oh, thanks, Melissa. Well, hey, um, who was it? Was it Ams? You posted it? Uh, I guess, I don't know if it still is, but as of earlier today, this book was back in stock at uh, Book Depository. Pretty sure I have the link in the in the description, but yeah, it uh, it did go back in stock. At least briefly. I haven't I haven't looked anymore. I don't know if it went sold out. I know a lot of people were excited about it. Uh, okay, let's get the gray. Oh, artist 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 eco is what's on the package. No, I haven't heard of them then. Uh, okay, Platinum 22. I wish there was a slightly darker gray, but we can work with this. We definitely need to make some darker darks on here. Yeah, let's give our black a quick... Yeah, no, I guess it's sharpened enough. And let's darken up some of these edges here. Make sure that it's coming across that it is a black ribbon on her hat. There we go. Let's zoom out here in a second. You can kind of see what it looks like as a whole. I know sometimes it's hard when we're zoomed in so close. There we go. All right, let's use a little bit of white. Oh, where was it back in stock? Um, Book Depository, I think. Yeah, Book Depository. Uh, just, I, I don't know, someone double check the description. I, I'm pretty sure I put it in there. Using a little bit of white here. But yeah. coming along. I feel like we should add some black along here. And let's get, we need to add a few more shadows to the candle. So brown 21, some of these areas where it would be darker. 
we need to darken this up a little bit. That actually right there, I think should be black. There we go. We can zoom back in a little bit. There you go. Ah, perfect. Okay, thanks, Della. Soft pastels I used are the Mun Mungio, Mungio soft pastels half sticks. I also have the pan pastel backgrounds I use soft pastels. <laughs> Catherine, snicker. The street, they say hi, no money. Oh, that's cool, Tina. Okay, so we're just gonna use a little bit of this brown to kind of add shadow and dimension to the candle. Just because it's lit up doesn't mean that the candle's not got some shadow on it. Okay, let's see, maybe a little bit there. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm happier with that. It was back in stock yesterday that a few hours later, not available again, and today it came back. I really hope they have a lot in stock and don't cancel the order, right? Agreed, agreed, agreed. a little bit on the bottom here. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. It doesn't need too much color on it. All right, so we're gonna do these leaves and then we'll do little gold things up here. I wanna save the gold part for last and, ooh, you know actually what we could do right now, give it time to dry, because it won't take too long, is want to outline this in white. Could outline in gold and that would make the edges pop a little bit more, but I want to outline it in white. Getting a little bit of a waxy buildup on the gel pen, but it's okay. I'll look up a chat here in just a second. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Nice thing is, is even if you do the white and then you're like, yeah, you can always scrape it off. What are those things you just colored tassels? These here? These are candles. No, no Paul today. I think he's snoozing away. Although it was crazy, Annie was actually all over me today. Usually she prefers the kids, but she was all over me today. Paul was all over me earlier today when I was working. The amount of cat hair he got on my shirt, and I'm wearing a black shirt today, and I was just like, oh man, dude. What do heck? Okay, let's see, how am I feeling about that? Okay, I think. Yeah, yeah, they're candles. Thanks, Shannon. Hmm, you know what? I think I will add a little bit of gold. gold is always fun. Yeah, I think that adds something to it. There we go. Okay, that's better. I like that. Bounce has a new dryer sheet for repelling pet fur. My son showed it worked on his black shirt. Really? Ooh, I'll have to look into that. That's cool. Okay, let's do this little branch. Branch. 
because <laughs> I was thinking of the color brown at the time. Let's do this little branch here. This branch, this brown branch. Okay, so we're gonna use natural brown. Okay. Still contending a little bit with that glow from the candle, so we'll do a little bit on that edge there. Okay. Are we still in frame? Yes. Okay. Probably lighten that just a smidge since my hand's making it darker. Okay, and let's go here. So since we've lived here, we've noticed something in the last month or so. There is this stray cat that comes and hangs out at her house only on garbage day. Not that he's paying attention to the garbage, but he just, it's the only time we ever see him in our driveway is on garbage day. And it is the funniest thing. Okay. Um, natural Brown number 21. I don't know if there's any uh, Office fans here, but there's the episode where Dwight gets Angela a new cat after he kills her cat. Um, because, you know, it's the Office. Uh, let's see. Golden Sun. And he, he, finds, he finds her this stray cat. And he gives her this cat and he says, this is garbage. I named him garbage because I found him eating garbage. Anyway, and so now we joke that because this cat only comes on garbage day, that his name is garbage. <laughs> Hi, Tammy. Right, Della? How are you, Tammy? All right, natural brown over the top of that golden sun yellow. Love a putty beige right now, but because we're using a lot of yellow because we're limited uh, It's making for a very warm kind of uh, color palette, which I'm okay with All right, and then let's grab raisin Okay all right, now let's do the leaves. And then ch -ch -ch -ch. number 16, basil. I suppose these would be kind of brown leaves instead of green. Oh well, too late, they're green now. I feel like this leaf is going to get set on fire. Honestly, the whole hat probably would. I mean, if we're talking statistically where these flames are. It's okay. She's magical. She probably has like anti-fire magic on her hat. She's cool like that. I am doing well, Tammy. Okay. Let's get under here. And then let's give this a quick turn, turn, turn. What time is it? We're still doing good on time. I'm really kind of curious to see if I can get this done today. It's my goal. That's my goal. But we shall see. Okay. And then let's go ahead and grab our brighter green, which is grass green. Okay. And then more there. Oh, Ev, I don't know if uh, if you were here when I said it, but I did the Blender video, so that's gonna be up tomorrow. I was pleasantly surprised by, by one of them. So uh, for anybody else watching, tomorrow's Let's Talk is a comparison of Blender pens and pencils. So uh, that, will be, that will be tomorrow. 
Okay, let's do a little bit of raisin. Still on the darker, shadowier parts. Awesome. Okay, let's grab... I'm not going to use any of the blenders tonight that I used in the video because I don't want to... I don't want to give it away. Plus, I want to stay consistent since we already started a page, but... Okay. And we're going to use our handy-dandy Karen Dash blender here. Kind of blend all that out just a bit. Very similar to the style leaves that we did when we uh, colored our evening unicorn with the kind of lantern glow on it and whatnot. Oh, I forgot to add green here. Oh, do you really? Okay, awesome. Well, hopefully, hopefully you will, uh, you will enjoy it. It was one of the easier videos I've done recently, mostly because when I'm you when I was using them, I just kind of talked to you guys like I talked to you here because it was mostly just trying things out and discussing it and whatnot. I'm gonna use a little bit on this ribbon on her hat here. Kind of smooth out some of that some of that black. There you go. Okay. A little brushy brush brush. Okay, that part up there is done. So now we're gonna take our sparkle pop and then we are going to fill in these little little sparks here with some gold sleechy because it's so sparkly. We might add a few of our own extras as well. Always find it kind of go off the cuff and add your own flair. Especially since we added the sparkle pop to the flame and the gold to the frog as well. I'll look up a chat here in just a second. Here we go. So sparkly. All right, what did I say? Oh, Galhad. Okay, feel a sparkle? Look at that frog, he looks so sparkly, man. He is rocking his sparkles. Love it. All right, let's move this stuff over because we need to move the book up. And I get my little device uh, from, from Evelyn and Renee, but Honestly, there's only 24 pencils here. They're not really in order anyway, because I don't have, I didn't make a color chart for them yet. So I'm just going based off their pencil bottoms here. Little <laughs> pencil bums. I did not just say that. I'm sorry. I, I think things and then I say them and then I think I probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> okay. So we're going to slide on up sure we are in focus um let's do him last because i want to do silver gel pen on here and i don't want to draw my hand across so we need to get some black and some permanent <laughs> pencil pumps i didn't think about it well you should have been here earlier for a book suppository tammy <sighs> It ain't an Emily stream if something doesn't get fudged up. 
All right, so now we are going to go ahead and use our black. Okay, so let's start here. And we're gonna kind of fade it out. Create a bit of our blend. We'll use our, because we have one other gray, so we'll use that kind of in the, in the mix here. Okay. All right, let's see. These are gonna get black also. <laughs> yes, Tammy did. <laughs> Pencil booms. Now, see, I said it again. I'm just, I'm just glutton for punishment. That's what's going on here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not good, Tammy. It's not good. It's been a long week. I'm clearly, am, am missing a few wires here. Okay, do this here. It's all right, it's one of those nights. One of those nights. Are we still in frame? Yes, we are, okay. Okay, can I just say, I love how crisp and clear this is. Like, this makes me so happy. Like, it's so happy. Can I, can I say thank you again to everyone who helped make this happen? Like, it's just so pretty. It's so clear. Oh, okay, I'll stop gushing. All right, uh, we're gonna use black here also. Because all I, I mean, all I can think of obviously are bat wings and I have a hard time imagining this any other colors than what it is. What I am gonna do though, is after I do this wing, I'm gonna work on the necklace and then that way we have enough time to at least touch on all the elements. <laughs> Thing of it is, is I said it and then like I caught myself afterwards and I was like, oh no, oh no, no, no. <laughs> okay, let's see. Well, see, laughter is good medicine, so you know. Everybody, everybody comes away having, isn't like, isn't there a thing where you actually like lose calories by laughing? That's a thing, right? Update on the new Black Widows. Oh, good. Things are still looking good for late October, early November re release. Although ongoing lockdown in Sydney may impact it a little bit. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. Hi, Cheryl. They're gonna be on Amazon, right, Tammy? Are they up for pre-order? Oh, sounds good, Rinka. Have a great night. Thank you so much for being here. I haven't even looked. I know there were like some fake uh, like box uh, like designs that were going around for a little while. But I'll be curious to see what the new colors are. Okay. Talk about pre-order. I was enjoying watching all the fake drama. Do we uh, did we ever find out like who made those? I mean, that's just hilarious. And also confusing. <laughs> We're gonna have some purple in these wings too. I'm just kind of getting the initial the initial uh, black colors laid down. And then I'm thinking green for the little jewels that are here. Lori posted a small update today about the new Star Joy. She will show them Sunday. Oh, very cool. Are those the uh, are those the Star Joy golds? 
Because I know I was watching um, Corey's uh, Whip Wednesday today, and I know she was talking about the Star Joys. Now remind me, which channel does Lori have? Okay, let's see. Oh, very cool, Nina. All right, let's go ahead and use violet number 11. I'm going to go kind of light. I don't want to make it super purple, but I also don't want to use the lilac because I feel like it's going to be too light. We're going to be doing another layer of black here too because what I want is like a purple undertone, if that makes sense. I don't necessarily want it like bam, purple wing. So we're going to go nice and light. Just on the inside part here. Ah, okay, yeah, when you said the husband thing, that's what I thought. I've been kind of keeping up on those updates too. I got uh, pulled into the updates when she posted the one about how she was uh, really upset with the nurses there. I was like, wait, what's going on? It's kind of right about the same time all of that uh, other color tube drama was going down. I'm like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna just, just hang out here with my popcorn. <laughs> uh, okay, black. Number 23. There we go. Using the gray. This one was the platinum number 22. It'd be better if I had a darker gray, but we're going to make this one work. Needed lots of popcorn, right? It took me a little bit to find everything, and then I finally got all caught up, and I'm like, holy heck, what the, what just happened here? I don't even understand. I mean, you all know me. I'm, I am, I am low drama, man. I'm just like, no, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stay over here with my pencil. Thanks. Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay. So I'm going over that purple just a little bit. Front porch, Riggs woke up, puppy nightmare. Oh, poor puppy. I used to wonder, like when the kids were babies and they clearly were having like a bad dream in their sleep, and I'm talking like baby babies, like newborns, you know, and they're kind of, you know, crying and kind of whimpering in their sleep. I was just like, you've been, you've been alive for like less than, than a couple weeks, like, what are you dreaming about that you're so upset about? Like, my milk's late? Like, I don't know. Like, what do, what do newborns dream about that's like a bad dream? Yeah, there was something else. I won't touch on it because I'm just, I'm just hanging out over here. But I'm sure, I'm sure that you will stumble across it at some point. I think it's pretty much all over now. I think, I think it is, it has since, since passed. But yeah, there was some some sort of drama going on like i'm okay thanks though okay i'd like to think that as a whole we're a fairly positive community so i was just like nope being born spicy food there you go they want to go back trauma of being born that's not <laughs> Tina, no! I was reading like up to down. I started the bottom going up and then I ran across Tina's and I'm like, no! Fact about dreaming. You can only dream faces that you have seen. The brain can't make up faces. Really? You know, that makes sense. Has anybody else ever noticed that like you can't run in dreams either? Oh gosh, I had this dream the other night. I honestly don't remember what it was and this was probably a few weeks ago. But like for some reason... Like, I remember that I was struggling with something 
And like, you always have a hard time like yelling in dreams too. It was definitely a bad dream, whatever it was. And like, for some reason I started barking. But here's the thing, is like I actually started barking in my sleep. And of course I wake Steve up and he's just like, what is going on? And I think I ended up saying something to him like, I was barking, like I told him I was barking. He's like, oh, okay, it's a good bark. Go back to sleep. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Right? I don't know why. <laughs> go, Evelyn. What do tigers dream of when they take a little tiger snore? I don't know what. I see faces of people I don't know all the time, and I have ran in my dreams. I don't know. I always feel like I can't run in mine. Like you're, it's like you're trying to, like you're trying to get away, but you can't. It's like you're walking in molasses. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Shannon. Are you a superhero in your dreams? Cause that's cool. Oh gosh, here we go, right? I don't know. I don't know. I've had some pretty weird dreams. Like, ever just like dream so deeply that when you wake up, like you're just so confused? Like, I've had some of those, man. Like, I don't know. I also talk in my sleep, apparently, too. So Steve's Steve's found some pretty funny things. But he kind he rarely does. So on the occasion that I'm awake and I hear him talking in his sleep, I'll like write them down. Because by the time morning rolls around, I won't remember what it was that he said. <laughs> I never get anywhere, but I run a lot. There you go. <laughs> oh, there you go. Somewhere, TV, yeah. Like you subconsciously res registered what they look like. I think we're gonna need to add some more black on kind of the outline part of the wings, but I'm I'm happy with the inside. Oh, I'm sorry, Tina. I wish I could be there to help you. It's it's hard. I can't troubleshoot from here. Have you tried from like a com from uh, different sources? Like, have you tried on a computer? I have dreams that feel like work and wake up more exhausted when I go to bed. Oh, Angie, I'm confused all the time anyway. <laughs> When I can't run, my brain will realize I'm having a flashback night and not, not a nightmare. Oh, gosh. This crap about not falling and hitting isn't true. I've done that, too. <laughs> All right, it's official. Shannon is a superhero in her dreams. I've definitely had the falling dream before where you just continually see falling, like almost kind of like Alice in Wonderland. I even recently had a, like, you know, that kind of classic dream of your teeth falling out. I've even recently like had one of those. And I mean, recently, like within the last couple months, I seem to remember there's like a meaning to your teeth falling out, like in a dream. I don't know what it is, but I know like there's whole, there's whole like dream dictionaries where you can look up what your dreams mean. I actually, so it's interesting. Little, little Steve has finally got to the stage where he remembers his dreams and he started telling us about it. And so I've tried to help him, you know, like understanding, you know, if he's running from something in particular, or if he's, you know, worried about something that that can, you know, seep into his dreams a little bit. You know, a lot of it is just your subconscious trying to process your, your daily life in a way, you know? Oh no, Catherine. I love the feeling when you feel like you're falling. I want to go back to sleep and do it again. Oh, that's so funny. Both phone and PC? Aw, I'm sorry. My grandma's from South Louisiana. She speaks Cajun French in her sleep. That's hilarious. Yes, illness or fear of illness, teeth fall. Yeah, yeah, so that makes sense. Middle of a pandemic. Everybody dreaming about their teeth are falling out. Ah, okay, well, that'll do it. That makes sense then, because that was probably right about the time that the kids were starting school and I was like freaking out. <laughs> Shannon, I want to put that on a t-shirt. My subconscious is an idiot and gets on my nerves. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. <laughs> you don't sleep much? Oh no. Teeth falling out are associated with loss and important life changes. This dream could indicate that you're dealing with some kind of loss, like an abrupt end to a relationship or a job change. Interesting. I don't even remember what the dream was about. I don't know, little Steve just lost his first, first tooth, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had some more teeth falling out dreams, but that's probably just associated with him uh, Losing his first tooth. Okay, let's take this 
gray and kind of go over this just a little bit on the purple. So like I said, I kind of wanted this a bit of an undertone, not just a bam, purple. There we go. What are we thinking about this wing, hmm? <laughs> I'm always dreaming I'm jumping sky high and then fall like I was shot out of a cannon and always land in a tree. Okay, wait, who has had flying dreams? Because there are flying dreams that I had as a kid that I still remember, that I still remember. Like, I'm obviously at my childhood house because I was a kid at the time. Um, but like, I distinctly remember having dreams where like, I'm running as fast as I can and I jump up in the air and I can fly. You know, I don't have wings. I'm just, you know, like flapping my arms. I love flying dreams. Those are cool. I would love to have more of those. Don't you wish you could like program your dreams? Like, hmm, tonight I want to dream this. Like you could eat a certain food before bed. Aw, uh, thanks Angie. My dreams, I'm always wandering around inside buildings like malls, offices, and I move from building to building with no transitions. Ooh, ooh, that's trippy, Joe. All right, so let's grab basil 16 here. Yeah, that's way trippy. When I was at music school, I would hum scales in my sleep. Oh, how funny. But also, like, that'd be kind of cool if, like, somebody recorded it. Okay. So I'm gonna make all of these green here and we'll add little highlights on them too. They don't need to be anything too fancy. They're pretty small. Okay. You can program your dreams in kind. Have a look at lucid dreaming. Oh, that would be weird. Running as fast as... <laughs> Holding on to one another's hand. Yeah, there you go. I have fine dreams, love them. They're so cool. Oh, there you go, Joe. There's a thing called lucid dreaming. You can control your dreams. Be done with that. Grass green. Well, I don't know about you all, but I have an incredibly busy mind. And a lot of times if I can't sleep at night, it's because like I just have a hard time shutting off my brain. Whether I'm thinking about what happened during the day or the things I need to do like the next day and I just struggle to go to sleep. So what I've actually started doing Think of it as kind of like counting sheep, but I've actually just started like when I'm ready to go to sleep and I need to make sure that I'm actually like going to sleep and I'm not, you know, getting distracted or whatever. I start counting, but I don't count out loud. I count in my head. That way there's no room for thoughts because I'm thinking about the counting. It seems to be working. Either that or I'm just too dang busy. <laughs> busy. Trying to get away into the night. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously it's basically like counting sheep, but I'm just, I'm just straight up counting, like seeing what number, what number I can get to before I fall asleep. And it just makes it so my brain can't think about all the things I'm thinking about. All right, let's get our little white gel pen here. Okay, and we're gonna add a little highlight. I'll do one here too. How high do I usually get? I've been trying to remember by about the time I fall asleep. And I think, because I like I have to concentrate so that my brain doesn't start wandering. Like I had a list a mile long to do today, which I actually did get a lot done, but like I'm constantly thinking like, okay, I need to do this, but I should probably do this first. And how do I want to do this? And it's just like, it just go, go, go. So I want to say, I don't think I've gotten up past 200. Like how high? Yeah, I don't think I've gotten up past 200. At least if I did, I don't remember it. <laughs> kind of sheep, I was like, oh, look at that sheep. Need shearing. Oh, look at that sheep. Has blue eyes. Now what number was I on, right? You start thinking about the sheep. Yeah, so I just force my brain to only think of the numbers, which is, like I said, which is why I don't count them out loud. I only count them in my head. And it's been working. I tell you the ones I've had about you coming to Australia. Oh, ask me about dreams of F coming to visit. I love that. Okay, let's do, let's do like black pearls because I don't want to do green and I don't want to do purple. So let's do, let's do black. Okay, but we'll use like kind of a, a pinkish highlight to it rather than gray. Okay. 
I want to make sure we get this necklace done before we go because I can do the other wing off stream since we've already done one. And then, so yeah, on, on Monday then, we'll work on my, we'll do like a work in progress Monday and we'll work on Serene, however far we get. And then Wednesday, we're going to be coloring in the coloring lamp. I count my blessings instead of sheep and I fall asleep counting my blessings. I know which one that is. Oh, there you go. When I'm worried and I can't sleep. Gotta love, uh, white Christmas. It's so good. I think I'm... And I fall asleep counting my blessings. Now it's stuck in my head. Now I want to go white, watch White Christmas. I love, though, that I got that with the lyrics. That makes me happy. <laughs> When my bankroll is getting small, I think about how I had none at all, and I fall asleep counting my blessings. I'm trying to remember what all the other lines are. What is my favorite Christmas movie? Okay, so this is gonna be weird, and there's probably, there's gonna be like the weird, like the, 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 the random few of you that maybe knows what I'm talking, talking about. And this one is only my favorite Christmas movie because it's a, uh, hi Renee. Uh, wait, why is she in I can't fall asleep. I think of rolling pen pushing all my stress. Out. Oh, I like that. Um, yeah, so my my favorite Christmas movie is because it was my favorite Christmas movie as a kid. It's totally obscure, and it's more because I loved it so much as a kid. Like, I think of this movie or we watch it, and it just gives me, like, warm, fuzzy feelings because I loved this movie so much as a kid. Like I said, it's totally random. There's going to be, like, maybe one of you that knows what I'm talking about. But it's called A Family Circus Christmas. It's a little cartoon. It's about family circus. Raise your hand if you have seen it or know what I'm talking about. I loved it as a kid and it's just like, I couldn't wait to share it with the kids when they got older. But White Christmas is a, is a close second. Yes, okay! <gasps> Yay, one person! You're my people, Ev! <laughs> That's totally, I think, an 80s thing. I know you know, Steve. <laughs> Because I made you watch it. <laughs> All right, Salmon 07. Not really a Christmas movie, but I like to watch Love Actually and The Last Unicorn. Oh, The Last Unicorn's good. I was sure you were going to say Die Hard, but that's not obscure. Everybody says the Die Hard. Like, there's a lot of people that say, oh, your favorite Christmas movie, it's Die Hard. And like, Die Hard's not a Christmas movie. Yes, it is. It happens on Christmas. Oh, my God. I've turned into Kermit. You guys, we've reached Kermit stage. <laughs> yeah, it's a... Nothing. You saw nothing. Bah, it's all homebug, I tell you. Joe, no! <laughs> Dang, snapping pencils. I mean, not snapping pencils. Because they didn't snap. No, you caught it. You caught it. You guys are too quick for me. I'm definitely going to need to add some more black on this. <laughs> I should make a snap command. Oh, a Christmas Carol. Christmas Carol is good. Is it weird that I like the Donald du like Donald Duck version of Scrooge in a Christmas Carol? <laughs> no. Colon underscore Emily snap colon underscore Emily snap colon underscore Emily snap. I gotta change to it. It wasn't me snap. Can we get some hypes in chat for Ev? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh yay, Shannon loves it. Okay, that's awesome. 
Some hype emotes for the Emily Snope. <laughs> I meant to tell you that, Steve. Melissa messaged me and told me how much she loved uh, Ted Lasso. I may have to... I may have to cave. I may have to cave. That's Hubby's favorite? Awesome. I watched a Christmas Carol and turned it off just before Scrooge converts. Yo! Yo, you shit your humbug! Alright, doing a little bit more black on here. Because I want it more black than pink, and we still need to add our highlight. Go. Okay, so let's do, we're gonna do some, oh, I forgot the green on this one. Hang on. Yeah, the family circus, I love it. Who knew there were shows? I did. It's on YouTube now. Oh, Tina, I love that. A bit of highlight there. And shim goad. There we go. Okay, let's see. What time is it? It's 10, 16, we're still doing good. So these little things are gonna get gel penned. Um, let's do little purple stones in the middle because we still need to do this bottle. I'll save the other wing for Austria. Oh, and we need to do the spider. Don't let me forget to do the spider before we go. Angel Dickinson, it's so different than from the movies. Is it really? That's fair, Catherine. That's fair. Max makes the whole Grinch cartoon for me. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do this here. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to make this also purple. This little stone here. Same with this one here. Okay. Let's grab our lilac. The old Alistair Sim version. <laughs> Don't forget the spider! Thanks, Renee! <laughs> uh. Alright, then let's use... There we go. Well, for those of you who came in later uh, and didn't see earlier, um, I shared real quick the Arteza Advent Calendar is out and they go quickly. If you type in exclamation point Advent, they do only ship to US and UK, uh, but I have a, since we're talking about Christmas, um, I have a 10% off coupon if you want to use that. Okay, I'll be doing a video soon with mine so you guys can see what's in it, but it's pretty cool. No, ah, no. The original movie, there is so dark, it makes it look happy and sunny. Oh, I don't know if I want to read it then. Okay, all right, speaking of shows, speaking of shows, has anybody actually watched Squid Game? I have not. Now, I've read about it because I'm trying to figure out what the, why, why everybody seems to be liking it so much. But, I mean, I just read the Wikipedia on it and it was like turning my stomach a little bit. I don't understand. I don't understand what the appeal is and why it got so gosh dang popular. I don't get it. All right, I'm using natural brown. Yeah, I don't think I would. You've seen it? Okay. It is good. Is is it the storyline? Obviously, it's gruesome. I get that much because like people are dying right and left. But what is it about it that's good? Is, is it the storyline? I mean, is the acting just like out of this world? I watched 10 minutes and I can't deal with the voiceover. Oh, it's called Squid Game, Alex. It's on Netflix. And apparently it's just like blowing up and people love it. And it's like, part of me is like, well, gosh, everybody seems to really like it. Maybe I should watch it. But then I read up on it. I'm like, you know, maybe that's why it's popular. Everybody hears it's so good. So they go and watch it, you know? I guess so. It just seems, just seems like a bit much. All right, Sun Yellow. And I, I read, like, I read what the episode premises were, mostly because I didn't want to, like, go into it. I mean, and I've decided I don't want to watch it, but I've read what the premises are, and from what it sounds like, the last episode sets it up for a second season. It's a thousand percent not your style. Okay. All right. Good to know. But it seems like it's setting it up for, like, another series for it, and it's just like, I'm, I don't get it.
But I mean, I guess if there's a market for like horror movies and, and other stuff, I mean, I can't talk too much. You know, I've watched Outlander, I've watched Game of Thrones, you know, I like a good Jason Momoa flick, but I do have my limits. It's the worst of the worst in society and how they pull together or pull apart. Interesting. Oh, I'm sure it would have to, for sure. Because from what I gather, the premise is they they give all these people who are like in massive amounts of debt these cards. They come here and they're like, surprise, it's Squid Games. And then they play like kid style games. And then it's like, surprise, you're dead. And it's like, oh, okay. Prey on people's desperation. It's like the old Japanese movies you were talking and their mouths are moving totally opposite. I, oh, yeah, I can't do that. Okay, Golden Sun. Like, I can watch a dubbed over movie or a show if I go into it accepting that it's dubbed over. Like, occasionally I'll stumble upon, you know, like a, a Brazilian flick or something. And so, you know, it's all in Spanish, but I watch the, the subtitles. As long as I go into it knowing that they're subtitles. Ah, uh, sounds good, Barbara. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. We'll be back on Monday. Enjoy your weekend. I guess for me, more than anything else, I was like, what, what is it about this that is just taking the world by storm? Yeah. Like I said, I read on it because I was like, I don't, I don't know what I'd be getting myself into. So, and then I, after I read it, I was like, mm, I'm good. Thanks, though. <laughs> okay, we're going to do gold here. Gold here. Gold here. Gold here. Here. I mean, I'm not going to yuck on anyone's yum, you know, but all I'm saying is I read through it and I'm just like, nope, I don't, I don't think this was for me. <laughs> so then I turned on Star Trek Voyager. <laughs> okay. Is that all the gold I wanted to do on there? No, you know what? We'll end up doing, hmm, do I want, no, I'm not going to say I'm going to do gold there. All right, but let's throw in this here. Let's use... trying to decide. Ooh, we'll use the silver sparkle pop. I was going to use the sleechy, but we we'll use the silver sparkle pop for the spider web. That'll be good. There's an X on this. Is this supposed to be a black widow? I'm wondering. Okay. This one here. So the thing, I want to use the purple sparkle pop, but when it dries, it looks... Oh, the cap was a little loose on that one. I'll have to revive that pen. Let me grab another one real quick. Let's see. That's blue... I thought I had another purple one in here. Hang on. I got my little drawer of gel pens. We started the Good Witch. Yes, that's definitely uh, other end of the spectrum there. <laughs> no, we made up the spiders. Oh, the series or the movie? Yeah, I tried to watch the series. It was a little too ha hallmarky for my taste. Okay, so look, this is, this is what we had earlier. So, you know, I wrote Peppermint Peach Tree from the other night. But if you look... If you look, you see how it like kind of, the, the sparkle in it is more blue than purple. And it's awfully dark. I suppose it could work though. Maybe let's do this one on the top layer and we'll see. Actually, it kind of works with how dark it is considering we did kind of like black pearls. Hmm, maybe. Okay, actually, I think I regret that. I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then we're gonna put the purple sleechy over the top of it. It's a little bit lighter. Well, it is all marky, right? <laughs> uh, the Good Witch, the Good Witch. All right, so we're gonna, yeah, I think that's better. A little bit, a little bit lighter, not quite as overwhelming. So when this dries here, let's see. <laughs> nope, not dry yet. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put, there we go. That's better. It's still slightly different, but it's not as dark as it was, you know?
There we go. That's better. Um, let's actually do. Hmm. Just thinking here. Think, 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 think. Like we need a poo. Hmm. I want to do purple. Yeah, let's just do purple on the bottom ones. There you go. The, the necklaces are not the same. Exactly. You know, I'm trying to think what I want to do for these bottom ones. Do I want to do... I'm leaning more towards green, actually. Let's see how this green is doing. Yeah, green's good. And then we'll just do like a little white dot on these slightly larger ones for a little highlight. Yes, I figured. It's, it's nice just to imagine that people can be nice. Yes. If YouTube allowed you to do italics, I got you, Angie. It'd be a weird sentence though. It's just, it's nice just to imagine that people can be nice. <laughs> yes, I got you. That's so funny though. I like to imagine the hilarious. Okay. Yeah, that's good. And then let's grab our white. Yeah, there we go. All right, and let's do tiny little tiny little dot of white on there right. oh, is my head in frame no okay we're good sometimes i like hold my head down like it's terrible when i'm recording a video and i can't record what i did and without realizing it i was looking like super close and then all you guys see is like the top of the back of my head and i'm like oh no <laughs> You are incredibly nice, Ev, and if there's anybody who tells you you aren't, they are telling a bold face lie and you send them my way. I'll set them straight. So the highlight on here probably isn't gonna be as bright as up here because that gel pen's gonna soak through. Teen, tiny lip, white dot. And then we'll do the little bottle she's wearing here. And then we'll do the spider. Oh, here we go. Name that movie. A spy. A spee. A spider. -da -da. It's an arachnid. Name that movie. Name that movie. I have an odd feeling that like Shannon will know this. Uh, right, Angie? Exactly. <laughs> Well, you are, you would be correct, Tina. This whole, this whole group is just amazing. Ooh, that could be do something, something we could do for the Harry potter -a -thon. Um, In regards to the movies, I could do quotes and you have to name the specific movie that it's from. Green Potion Purple Bottle? Ooh, I like that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Okay, so let's grab, actually I wanna grab the um, aqua. No, we haven't been using aqua at all. I shouldn't just throw aqua on here after not having used it. Okay, so we're gonna go basil number 16. No, nobody knows what the code's from. Okay, I'll give you a hint. The main characters are animals and and, 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 the actor who plays the character that says, a spy, a spee, a spy, da, 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 it's an arachnid. The actor who plays this one is, I believe it's Dom DeLuise. He's who plays, he has a very iconic voice. It's a cartoon, but it's been around for a while. Say it again. It's a spy, a spee, a spy, da, da, da. It's an arachnid. I'm out of frame. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I shouldn't have yelled. <laughs> are we in focus? Now we are. Mmm. 
No, but you're on the right track with species of animal. Because there are some of those in this movie. <laughs> Cartoon movie trivia. We'll give you another hint. That line comes from the second movie in this, in this, it's not really even a franchise. Okay. All right. Next hint. Next hint. The main character is a mouse. And no, it is not Mickey. Okay. Grass green. Nope, not pet life, too recent. Think earlier, think like, I don't think it was 80s, it was probably 90s. Yes, Sarah, you got it! Yay! Fievel goes worse! It's uh, Dom DeLuise's character is uh, Tiger, Tiger the cat, and one of the villains is a talking spider and he freaks out and I love it. Oh, I wanna watch Five Goes West now. Yeah, Dee got it, Cheryl got it, yes. Yes, an American tale. Oh, yay. American Tale is the first one. The second one is Five Goes West. <laughs> I'm so glad. I love that. Probably one of my favorite movies as a kid, mostly because of Tiger. Okay, let's see. Let's do... Oh, you watched them in German? Oh, that's cool. Well, to be fair, uh, it's, you know, Tigger, get rid of a G, got Tiger, that was his name. All right, we're gonna use the green sparkle pop. I love Tiger. Right? I haven't watched it in ages. Like, I, I do, I like to do like countdowns in my head. I'm like, okay, at what point, oh, I should have waited to do that gel pen. Mm, dang it. Okay, I gotta let it dry. At what point, like, are my children old enough for me to be able to show them those, you know? All right, Violet. But then I also have to rewatch them to think, you know, okay, was I just, you know, like uh, brainwashed as a child that these movies were okay? You know, watching them as, you know, in a little bit more of a modern society, it's like, mm, is this okay? But I feel like Fievel's pretty okay. Ah, oh, sounds good, Beth. Somewhere out there. They're throwing tomatoes again, Mama. <laughs> it's called Fievel der Mauswanderer in German. That VHS got a lot of use. Five of their mouse wanderer. I like that. And it's very accurate. He is a wandering mouse. I mean, he wanders through the desert. Beneath the pale moonlight. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Going to turn them into a mouse sandwich. Mouse burgers. Okay, I'm done. I'm just quoting random movies. Oh my gosh, Shannon, why? Why? Who was in charge of you that let you watch or, or made you watch? I don't know what the situation was. Why? Oh my word. Someone's thinking of me. <laughs> Although she probably sings it better than that. Okay, while we wait for this gel pen to dry because we need to add some white to this, let's do the little, the little things there. So let's grab... Oh goodness, don't let the PC idiots ruin the old man. Well, now, I, I have to disagree slightly. Maleficent is friggin' terrifying. It's terrifying. Natural brown. Also, why did they have to give Ursula so much north? I'm just saying. Like, my kids will watch things now and they're just like, why is this a thing? Like, this isn't, this isn't normal, mom. <laughs> well, like, it was the 80s. It was acceptable. I don't know that I've ever actually seen The Exorcist. Which honestly, knowing me, it's probably a good thing. All right. That was that was uh, Golden Sun. So for kind of our gold here, I'm using 
uh, natural brown, golden sun, and sun yellow. Okay. Don't watch it. <laughs> I am right there with you, Sarah. It is a very good song. It is a very good. I was singing it in the way that the mouse sang it on the show, but yes, I like that song as well. Okay. Now we need to add a little bit more of our white gel pen. No, you're probably right. Absolutely. I can't do a scurry. I got scurred. I'm too scared of the scurry. Are we still in frame? Yes, okay. Are we still in focus? Oh, no, that focused on my thumb. There we go, that's better. There <laughs> we go, let's see, do I want it to? Hmm. Let's see, let's grab a little bit of blue. Me, a name, I call myself, there you go. <laughs> Ray, a drop of golden sun. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Our brains think the same way, Sarah. All right. This is denim. I just want to add a little bit of blue. No, but seriously, one of these days, Shannon, you got to tell me your exorcist at five years old story. I feel like... I feel like there's a story there. Okay. That is true. That is true. And that was cool. And that's the thing is like, I, I probably would have been creepier if I had gone there at night, but like I wasn't scared by going there at all. I honestly wish I could go back. Um, I didn't get to spend much more than 10, 15 minutes there because at the time, um, well, you kind of saw the video in that, in that scary, not scary, well, in the, the scare tag thing, uh, the wind, it was so stormy that day. Um, my mom had come on the trip with me and she was actually waiting in the car, but like, I don't have very much still video from that because the wind literally knocked me over. Like there's a part in the video where you see the phone fly through and all of a sudden like the camera kind of shakes and I go back. It literally knocked me back. Like it was crazy. I think as adults, we look quite different at Disney movies. As a kid, I didn't notice all the world problematics, for example, Pocahontas. I can't watch it now. It makes me sad. <laughs> so, a needle pulling thread. Yeah, exactly. Also, and the fact that uh, in real life, Pocahontas was like 13. So, if you watch it from, you know, a kid's view and ignore the actual history behind it, then it's, it's not so bad. Okay, yeah, I'm glad I put white on the outside of that. Okay. All right, all of what we have left. Oh, do I want to put some highlights on the moon? There we go, a little bit. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, oh, forgot these stars. Hang on. There we go. Okay. Oh, the spider. <gasps> Renee, I almost forgot to do the spider. Yeah, she also didn't marry John Smith. That is true. Almost forgot to do the spider. And no, I'm not gonna do her freckles either. I'm gonna leave them just as is. Okay, we need black. Where is it? There we go. Almost forgot the spider. But yeah, is that supposed to be Black Widow? Is that what's going on with this X on her back? There we go. Almost forgot the spider. That would have been tragic. There we go. Okay, then let's grab our platinum. <laughs> Do you drink with German bread? <laughs> it's German bread. I love that. Yes, I know, but in that brief moment, I was about to say, we're all done, and then I realized I hadn't done the, I hadn't done the spider. He even inspired movie trivia. Okay, there we go. 
All right, so I guess, yeah, Black Widow. Um, let's grab. No cats, no cats in America. Whoa. <laughs> All right, so here's the interesting thing, and I think this is what I'm going to use. This black uh, sparkle pop, when it dries, the glitter in it is red. So I think that's what I'm gonna use. Maybe, if it lets me. There we go. All right, so then when it dries, when it dries, don't make me a liar, glitter gel pen. Okay, we're gonna come back to that when it dries because it hasn't dried. Okay, but we're gonna use the silver sparkle pop, maybe, maybe. All right, I've shared this trick before because I really wanna use the silver one. This is a trick to get your gel pens working again, not dipping them in anything. Here, let's zoom out here. Okay, take them apart. <laughs> Sounds good, Tammy. Let's see, am I gonna be, maybe. Okay, so the end of this is kind of dried. So what I did is I just took it apart here. You're gonna put your mouth here. Make sure your lips are completely closed around it. Obviously don't suck on it because you don't want ink in your mouth and that'd be gross. Um, and then you just, you blow on it and it puts pressure and it should get it going again. At least that's the hope. See, I can get it out, but then will it consistently? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, it is, it is writing. Hmm. Maybe I'll leave it out and do it this way in case I need to blow on it again. Right, Pam? Oh, that and also since I've had kids, I can't watch anything where sad things happen to kids. I'm like, nope, nope, not gonna happen. Is it gonna work or do I have to dig out the other one? Hmm? I don't know. Okay, yeah, it's coming out. going as strongly as I would like. I guess actually, it's kind of subtle. It might actually work for, for the spider web. Maybe? Yeah, actually that's kind of working, right? A little bit subtle. I may have to dig out the other one. Wait, if what's on YouTube? The Exorcist? I wouldn't think Exorcist would be on YouTube. It'd probably have to be on a streaming service or like Amazon rental. Okay, yeah, that kind of works. Cause it's still, you can still see it, but it's got a little bit of a shine to it. Oh, sound of music, sound of music. I gotcha, I gotcha. Um, was sound of music Disney? Okay, look, see, it's red. It's red, just a little bit, it's red. Here, let's see, it's red, it's red. <laughs> How do you solve a problem like Maria? You don't need a solver at all because she's Julie Andrews and amazing. How do you solve a problem like Maria? Um, okay, folks. What do we think? Now, obviously, that's a little bit more accurate. Um, we'll get a little bit better look when I take a picture, but look, because you're getting light glare there. You can always tell when there's light glare because that's where the gel pen shines but I'll take a picture of it and we'll see it real good.
It's red, folks. <laughs> I swear, I swear. It's Warner Brothers. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Sound of Music will be somewhere for sure. And then I will do the other wing off stream because it's already 1044, but then I'll get that posted. Edelweiss, I do like Edelweiss. Okay, um, yeah. And I'll do the other wing off stream. Do you guys want to see the page? I don't know. I think I've shown it to you already. Do you want to see the work in progress we're going to be working on on Monday? Oh, my legs are stiff. They are stiff, stiff, stiff. Okay. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Where are you? Hang on. I'm looking. Ah, here it is. Ah, thank you, Shannon. Uh, Good Witch is Netflix, isn't it? Okay, so this is what I started. This is what I started. I started with the using the Karen Dash, and so that is what we'll use. Yes, exclamation point advent. Thank you, Shannon. So yeah, for those of you who were not here at the beginning, but this is on Arteza now. I'm gonna show you guys more detail about it, but they usually sell out really fast. So if this is something that you have been interested in, in the past and you missed out, uh, I would jump on it. There's a 24 and a 12. The 12 obviously costs a little bit less. So there's price points for everyone there, but I'll show you more about it in an upcoming video, which will also tell you what's in there. But I can tell you right now, the stuff that's in there is flipping awesome. There's even things in there I haven't used yet. So yes, anyway. All right, actually, hang on. There's one, one more thing I wanna do. I'm looking at it and it's bothering me and I wanna fix it. Hang on, I need, I need black. Here we go, hang on. Hang on, is everybody hanging on? Is everybody hanging on? Hang on. Okay, gotta make sure I don't mess up the gel pen here. But Mr. Toad here needs a bit more shadow under him. I'm just looking at that and that bothers me. Mr. Toad needs shadow. Sometimes until the item is actually colored, it's hard to see where the contrast and the shadow should be. There we go. Okay, I feel better about that. There you go, Mr. Toad. You got your shadow. I'm hanging, I'm hanging. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now I'll be done with it. All right, well, we have one week to the Harry Potter-a-thon. It's gonna be amazing, so much going on. But before we get to that, tomorrow, Saturday morning, uh, there'll be a new Let's Talk. I compare some blender pencils and blender pens. And then Monday, we will do our work in progress serene. Wednesday, we're gonna be doing a little bit on the coloring lamp. And then Friday is the beginning. So mark your calendars, save the schedule, cause not everybody's gonna be scheduling their streams in advance. Vicky's is, and Vicky is first. She is first, she's kicking off the event. So um, go to, Shannon, do I have, do I have Vicky's thing? I should, exclamation point, Vicky? Maybe? Maybe not, I don't know. Uh, Vicky, can you, no, Vicky. <laughs> Shannon, can you share uh, Vicky's channel for, for me real quick? I think it's coloring with Vicky. Anyway, she is kicking off the event. So check her out. Go over the schedule list. Oh, oh I do have Vicky's channel. Yay me. Okay. Um, go over the schedule list. Sub to those you're not subbed. This thing is just going to be, it is going to be massive. Like I said, there's 23 streamers involved with it. There are very few hours that are empty for this weekend. It's just going to be huge and it's going to be fun and it's going to be awesome. All right. So for now, enjoy your weekend. So keep staying awesome. And I'll see you all on Monday. All right. Thank you, everybody. Let's see. And then also, Ev, thank you for your super chat. One, two, and three. Nina, thank you for becoming a member. And let's see. Thank you, Jeannie and uh, uh, Aleo. Aleo. Aleos born for subscribing. Thank you very much. All right. Okay, everyone. I'm heading out. Have a great weekend. I'll see you in a couple days. All right? Bye.